back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything what you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see when you know what to please the audience with it's simple me the most incredible story you could ever create is one about yourself. You will inspire others because you persevere through nothing and still build something. You will encourage others by embracing the person you are born to be. Every step you take leads to more. You are enough. You are capable. You are a powerful creator. Walk one, my people. Open money now. Take open money now. All right. Another Friday morning and I'm alive and well. Every day above ground is a blessing. How awesome it is to be amongst the living and surely not amongst the dead. Make the time to work on your happiness just as much as you work on others' dreams. You are worthy of having dreams materialized. I remember telling you something. Don't run with the narrative and see some people already that say, yo, nobody not love them and nobody this and nobody not that. That's a lie. They don't see what people come here night night. They probably don't come at the funeral. But the night night I got cock. Me I tell you the truth. People only turn up when they're dead. You understand? They probably see more in other hills time. Just when they're dead, they see them come, come put on a show. Anyway, people, one only thing I go under the news. I'm a son tell no shit left right over Central Village and gonna pop up in and get him business fixed. But watch me guys start the news right or so. A man has been charged with shooting with intent and illegal pushing of firearm and ammunition after he allegedly shot at his brother during a dispute on Thursday, May 26. Charges turned on here Wesley Martin, a mechanic of Top Milford Road in St. Anne's. According to police report that about 5.30 p.m., Martin and his brother got into altercation when the mechanic reported a fire two shot. Bow, bow. Yes, people, just like that. At his brother, injuring his sibling in his left hand. Martin's brother was taken to the hospital where he was treated. Martin was later arrested. And the police them never find no gun, you understand? Police them never find no gun. Now slap the police are gonna slap him away enough. But we'll land it up and tell them about the two thief in security guard them. A security guard is charged simply last night and his bail condition adjusted when he appeared in St. Catherine Parish Court. He is Delroy Lewis, and guess where him come from, people? Right down at the big ghetto, Waterford. Yes, man, right there's a little thief in boy come from. His station bill of 60,000 was adjusted to 150,000 with one to two shorty by parish judge Natalie Query Dixon. Lewis is also to report to the Waterford Police Station twice weekly. He is scheduled to turn to court on March 14, 2023. We know now when the Wagadi really get himself involved in a me I tell Wagadi thief. In the report occurred October 7, Lewis was assigned as a security guard as a mega mart was caught on camera removing items from the store which he placed into a garbage bag he exited the building without paying for the goods he was held and checked revealed that items include a pack of jumbo shrimp ripe bananas tomato sauce and sweet peppers valued at over thirty thousand in the bag when confronted by the supervisor guess what he never have no explanation as to why he put the goods in the bag and I run out. You understand? Come like you know, have a nice meal for the hero's weekend. Yes, and that Lewis did a pray. But guess what Lewis do now, people? He managed to escape, but his cell phone fell in the process. And look at Lewis do now, people. When he returned for the phone three days later on October 10, he was held. The police were notified and Lewis was taken into custody and later charged with simple last story. Hold on a bit, they know. It's like on Lewis in work. And life means you should lose. So what I said that I mean, what I said I mean, I take it back into death. Anyway, we can move on. A police constable was found 83 rounds of ammunition and an illegal weapon, which he claimed he found in 2018, was yesterday sentenced to three years and 10 months in prison. Alberta Taylor, yes, people, Alberta Taylor, age 31, he must go to prison for three years. I didn't get a pension either, the people, he not going to get no pension. Who was assigned to the area of five headquarters was sentenced to three years and 10 months for illegal pushing of firearm and three years for illegal pushing of ammo in the gun court after pleading guilty. 
predict the sentence ought to run concurrently. The lawman who had served his country for nine years was arrested and charged after he was found with a weapon at a Swallowfield examination depot in St. Andrew in October. Remember me how they talk about this already, people? Taylor was held after he was seen acting in a suspicious manner and was searched, and a Glock pistol and one magazine was found in his waistband. One rounds and a gun holster were also found elsewhere on his person. The police then went to his home and following a search, several different rounds of ammo was found in his shoes and plastic bag. Yes. People, it's a boy, I see. A long time the police, them whole lad, but they be not uh, still up him with an handgun holster, a button, and a carry on were among other items that was recovered. Taylor in caution told the police that he found the gun in 2018 and decided to keep it because he had applied for a gun license but was turned down. Oh, well, and then now, people, 2019, 2020, 2021, and now we're not 2020. Taylor, I stop and forget, sit up, boy. You forget, sit up, boy. Me a talk the truth. Anyway, people, I can move on to the news because them see if they're alive. See, who do you forget to see that boy and them come and talk about them gear bill? A St. Catherine woman was caught for allegedly making a video showing her child and another minor engaged in sexual act was granted $80,000 bail when she appeared in court on Wednesday. The 27 year old woman is charged with production of child pornography. She appeared before Paris Judge Natalie Query Nixon in the St. Catherine Parish Court, where she was ordered to surrender her travel documents as part of her bail condition. But well, and if she wants to get it, she just goes to see her and jump over boat. She doesn't need the documents to do that. She is to reappear in court on February 10, 2023, when the matter will again be mentioned. Let me tell you what she do, people. The woman watched and filmed sex act between her daughter and her young brother on December 1st. The police received information about the crime and an investigation was launched. The woman was arrested. Wrong thing to me, and then them put the pick them in their homes. All right, to them putting the pick them in their homes, you know. But the woman should have gone in one box. So what I said, that I mean, what I said, and know me already. And now take you back. Watch me, I move on. Anyway, watch me, I move on because they murdered the mason. I can't tell you now who do it to. 22 year old Javon Nell, otherwise called Jovan, a musician of Treadlight District Clarendon, has been charged with murder and illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. Charges stem from an incident in his community on November 27, in which 40 year old Donald Simpson, a mason of Treadlight District, was killed. Police report that about 8 45 pm, Jovan, the so called musician, and him friend them, pounced upon Simpson and his two minor sons and opened gunfire hitting Simpson in his upper body. The children were able to escape. The police were earlier turned and upon the arrival, Simpson was taken to the hospital dead, dead, dead. Guess what, people? The musician boy was supposed to get slapped with. The police said, must arrest him and charge him. You understand? Which makes no sense to me. None at all. Anyway, now, people, here we go on, pa, we go on. More things are going on the news. An amputee was accused of pointing an illegal firearm at a police officer was free when he appeared in the St. Catherine Circuit Court on Wednesday. Richard officer was free following submission from his attorney, Shemar Ansel, in the gun court division of the court. It's alleged that on August last year, Mr. Officer was shot twice after he pointed a firearm at the police officer in Eltham Acres, Spanish Town, St. Catherine. But Mr. Officer had a different story. Yes, people. According to him, he was walking along Young Street, Brunswick Avenue, when he was attacked by a group of men who stole his money, among other things. We don't know what else they have in but they understand. But they say money, along with other things. In a bid to escape, he said he ran through the scheme and through some yards before he was shot. Member, member, good now. I can only tell you no what them tell me. If you tell you no, you understand. I can't tell you what I don't know. So I don't know which part of the gun jar or the gun come into play. No, 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 no. I don't know that. that the part they sound like mix up. Anyway, some operators of public passenger vehicles are set to withdraw their service today again. Yes, people. Besides, I watch them now come around again because this and because I'm a taffa. You heard about complaining about now. He was charged $234,000 and his license was taken. He went before the court and went up and doing that, his parents sent the money to be paid and his license was taken. They had a press release with the Minister of Transport, or should I say, through the Minister of Transport, with a press release stating that they are giving us a payment plan which we had asked for. The only question we are asking, why was not the, why was the court, why wasn't the court informed in writing? Because the court, as they stated, that the only operator of law. Right, so anything that was passed and gazetted, that is what they said they're, they're operating on. 
so why were not where why they were not informed so that they could make the correct decision of what came from the prime minister's office with the press release that's the only question i'm problem asking. them just a pile up on me but hold on a minute they know me i'm gonna talk like me you know me now i'm gonna talk like seven and one make i ask you know one little question what on the bus up boom see look down driver what on the bus up boom i'm gonna make you boss money i'm gonna make you just sign for the day me and know say by about two o'clock three o'clock some days i'm gonna make that so for the rest of the day a fool no call me alone i make People, when you hear them say they make call me, that means they make feel them little money and stuck in them pocket. Them the little money when they make, why when they get the ticket, they will not be able to get them. What do you do with them, the money there? Or they drink it and get it out? And now they come on a ball boat, who don't want this or who don't want that? Who don't know why it's man? Yeah, they are still, you know, see if something for your amateur, who don't even save it for a rainy day. Who don't need to pay for the ticket as you don't get them. But no, 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 I go like when a bad man when police go to dig it, when you crush the pan, dash it through window. Yo, me now pay that, me now pay this. See it then now? Lice now, a bag of things start get tech way, when you come on a ball. Show the same bad man mentality when they have before. And speaking of bad man mentality, look how Shane just got the road to get himself killed. 